Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today I want to share with you a very simple template for CRM system in Excel. This is mainly going to help people that want to start with something before they go ahead and purchase an expensive system. So let's just jump into it. There are four sheets in the file, lead inputs, parameters, pivots and dashboard lead inputs is where you need to key in basically your leads <clears throat> let's take a look at the columns you have a location here for the company logo um, and the uh, second row is frozen so if you drag down you still see the company logo which is always nice first column is of course the date then you have the name of the customer the name of the contact the position of the contact what is their email phone, where are they located, how did you contact them. This is a drop-down list and it's being pulled from here. Okay, this is called contact, the range. So you can highly recommend that whenever there's you know, drop-down selections, fixed, uh, fixed selections, you, you build a, a drop-down list. If you don't know how to do that, it's very simple. Data data validation list you select on default it's any value we just need to go to list and in this case i have a named range called contact and if you don't remember how to create a name range you select the range that's the easiest way to do and click here the name that's the very simple way to do that so contact method is a closed list sales rep is a closed list Again, coming from here. Then there's the product itself. So here I'm, for some reason, I'm looking into cleaning houses, pools, and cars with a robot. So there's three options, but of course, whatever you really want to manage. The, there's the quantity that was that was offered, price per unit. What is the status? This could be open or closed. Okay, and what's the stage? Again, this is also coming from here, taking the stages of the uh, sales cycle, but you can of course define whatever you want here. And, and alongside the stage, I've added a probability. And of course, this goes up as you go closer to the closure. And then you have the last contact. When was the last contact made with this lead? This is the value itself. This is the probability we saw in the parameters. And this is what I call a weighted value. As you can see, it's, it's the multiply of the probability and the value. So this will give you what's your expected value from this lead. Um, and the last column is the days from last contact. So if it's an open status, today minus last contact. This is also something that you can use to filter am check you know the cases where you have um, a lot of days that were uh, between the last contact so this is the the, the the let's say the basic table that you need to maintain and just add rows this is a table by the way as you can see so whenever you add a row the uh, formula lines will uh, be automatic uh, parameters we talked about them these are what fills in the uh, drop down lists then i just added two simple pivot tables and on them i built charts so here i built a pivot table for um the uh the sales rep okay and the weighted value and the count of customers and i sorted by the weighted value here i have the text of the chart and it's basically this chart so i have one it's a combo chart of, you know, of uh, uh, stack columns and uh, see weighted value is a cluster column and count of customers aligned with the secondary axis, and this is supposed to show you the weighted value per sales rep together with the number of customers. You're sort of trying. You can you can find some sort of trend. And this one is showing you the weighted value split between the customers 
Um, it's a very simple table and a pie chart on that. Uh, these are just examples. Of course, you can add more pivot charts, more pivot tables, whatever you want. You can build on this. You can analyze um, uh, the days. Uh, you can add fl flags for the days. Show me just the ones that are over 10, over 20. And uh, you can continue with that. So this is the very basic CRM uh, Excel file that I hope will be useful for you, for you to start experimenting with your customers. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you want to receive this template, I'd be happy to share it with you. Just leave a comment and I will send it over. Have a good one.